One, two, three, four. <laughs> Unboxing time. Hi everyone, and thank you for joining me. It is unboxing time. Mega serious unboxing time. Can you tell by the fact that the boxes don't even fit in frame? We have a whole bunch of goodies for you today. There is a mixture of brand new, second hand. Yeah, that's about it really. You don't really have much else than that. There's a bit of both, bit of everything. I was originally going to do two videos, two unboxings, a second hand only and another one, but because I've been super busy, I wasn't able to film them when I first got them and they've been sat here for a while and I'm like, I just want to open them all. I just want to go wild on manga unboxing. So we're doing a huge manga unboxing. There's a lot of manga. You can tell just how big they are. They're so heavy. Just before we dive into the unboxing, if you haven't already, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Also, don't forget to check out my social medias linked down below. But we'll unbox now. Time to unbox, unbox, unbox. So this first box, I'm fairly sure, is second hand and it has been thoroughly battered. There's like holes in the side. There's a hole there. I think there's another hole somewhere. But yeah, there's... This is... yeah the box seems as second hand as the manga inside. I feel like I'm continuously wondering what sort of boxes they use to pack the manga in. Oh. They're just so strange. Oh my god. Oh okay I thought they'd pack the manga individually in these for a moment. I was like oh. oh. The manga's falling out. Slip. Oh my gosh, is it just stacked? Is that packing as well? Oh wow, you can see, Let's see if you can see it. Just so much manga. I went crazy for second hand this time. So let's see how well this works, if this stacks up nicely. So first we have Yatakake, Yatakake, I don't know. Uh, Japan volume nine. I actually have like volumes 20, three and 25 of this um, because Black Calls had them really cheap. I think it's about it's about cooking and I love cooking in manga so bad manga. So I'm trying to pick up them when I find them. It's not a particularly common series. I'm not sure I ever remember seeing this in like one of my in-person manga stores so I'm pretty much relying on secondhand slash online for this. Ooh, got Radiant Volume 13. I picked up a whole bunch of this from Travelling Man when they've had their various sales and I've also now got this one. I think I have like one through five. Can I see them from here? No, I'm blind. Why can't I see them? Next we have Yam Yamada-kun and the Seven Witches Volume 2. Uh, I went on a super, super binge where I picked up like loads of series that had witch in the title and I realised that I hadn't picked up this one so when I saw there were some secondhand copies of this I was like yes please. Uh, this one is the first one that I could probably tell is secondhand. It's a bit battered, the spine, the pages are a bit bent but a bit scratched on the cover too actually but the spine seem fine. That's good. Next we have Ultimo Volume 3. Yeah. Uh, so I wasn't- oh it's a, it's a library copy. I haven't had a library copy in a while. So I was a bit put off picking this up because I think I don't want to say out of print. It's very hard to find at least um, but I had been wanting to pick it up. I keep seeing volumes and I'm like maybe maybe it's only 10 volumes as well and yeah original concept by Stan Lee so that's exciting. It's a Viz series, they're like decently chunky, that's quite yellowed as well. So yeah, what well, <laughs> first library copy, only four volumes in. Hope we'll see how it goes. Oh, this, oh, there's an, one on top. Oh, next we have Hero Tales Volume 1. This is the same artist as Full Metal Alchemist. I think it's like four or five volumes. Like I've never seen it in person, I never heard of it, but I keep seeing it on secondhand stores. So I was like, You've tempted me. Uh, I don't know what it's about. Oh, it's Yampress. That's interesting. That's neat. Melancholy of Haruhi Suzumiya Volume 5. I've been picking up this series pretty much entirely secondhand. I think I might actually have 1 through 5 now. Um, I, but it, I, I got really confused trying to find out how many volumes are on this series because there's like 
three or four different versions of the series. So I had to like go digging and compare covers and ISBNs to figure out which one is the one I want. So I'm the fact that I've been managing to pick up the same one on second hand, the same series run second hand is pretty much a miracle at this point. It just won't stop. Next we have Puella Magi Tart Magica The Legend of Jean Duark. I don't know how you pronounce the apostrophe arc volume three. Again, I've pretty much picked up all the Puella Magi that I have second hand for like five pounds or less. And oh it says 9.99 on the back. I didn't pay that. Uh, yeah. So I've been buying it entirely secondhand, and I have some very out of order volumes. This one I think is the only volume I have from this one, because there's just so many different titles and spin-offs and I get thoroughly, thoroughly confused. I'm there with my spreadsheet going, right, is it Suzume? Oz Ozume? Mag well, magic? I what? Next we have Your Lie in April Volume 4. I have Volume 1 of Your Lie in April and then I no particular reason. I've not really been I've not really been in a rush to pick up the rest. I haven't read my volume one yet, which might it's probably a big reason. I don't tend to see these too cheap. Um and the Kadansha, I also don't tend to see them in store either. So I kept getting put off because I didn't want to pay close to retail or even three for two price when it's a second hand copy, but finally found a cheaper volume to pick up. I don't know how many volumes are in the series though, but that's, I feel like it's going to take me a while to be able to collect. Ooh, we got some thick volumes in here, but next we have Yakutake volume 10. Ooh, we have two volumes next to each other. That's such a nice thing. Goodness. Wow, that makes me happy. Again, I think it's about bread. I think there's a lot about bread, and I do like bread. Next we have, how do I pronounce this? Acel world? Axel world? Akel? Akel? Akel world? The problems of a manga reader. Um, so I hadn't realised that this was um, like a isekai into a video game sort of thing, I think, which I think is what it is. And I was like, well, I need to get on that, especially being able to find some of them second hand. This is only like three pounds or something. It looks a bit battered. It's a bit yellowed and frayed at the bottom. We're getting there. We're getting there. Next, we have Claymore Volume 20. Uh, a part of me kind of regrets not getting the box set so I can just have swept up Claymore in one go. But I have been picking it up almost entirely second hand. I've picked up a few volumes in store, but like at four pounds sixty. 3 for 2 price. So I am actually kind of enjoying picking this up piecemeal, same with a few of the other series that I've been picking up second hand. I'm missing like six or seven volumes now. Oh, this one's chunky. What's this one? Oh my gosh. Sword Art Online Fairy Dance Volume 3. Why is it so thick? Especially compared to the other two. The other two volumes aren't that thick. No, they're not. They're not at all. This is like two volumes in one. Is it only a three? Oh, enjoy the conclusion of the fairy dance arc in this massive final volume. Darn tootin', it's a massive volume. Next we have Natsumi's Book of Friends Volume 5. I... I feel like I'm one of the... Oh, it's so dirty. Oh, it's so dirty. I think that's dirt. It's also a library copy. I've got a second library copy. Oh, wait, no, I don't think that's... I don't think it's dirt. I think that's, like the style. There's a big withdrawn. I don't even know if you can see that. It's in red. So I think libraries do that when it's time to get rid. Melancholy of Haruhi Sesame of Volume 4. Though weirdly this one feels different. This one feels like good, like crisp, solid, weighty. I don't understand. When was this printed? A first edition October 2019. I'm so baffled. This feels so much nicer than the, all the other volumes I have in the series. What gives? Next we have Love and Lies Volume 1, which I'm confused about because they messaged me saying they didn't have it anymore and they're cancelling this volume, so... What? <laughs> I'm not sure I'm complaining, I'm just confused. It was the only volume they cancelled in the entire order as well, I was quite pleased, but I'm... what? <laughs> Anyway, I've been wanting to pick this series up for a while, 
but I've been struggling to find volume one. <laughs> but here it is. I'm actually quite surprised. I hadn't realised it was a big volume. Uh, even though I saw it in store, I'm still surprised it's a big volume. Next we have, oh, I think these are all big volumes actually. We have Grand Blue Fantasy Volume 2. This is like a two, seven volume series based on the hit game from creators of Final Fantasy V, VI and IX. Well, I've only played 14. It seems decent quality. It doesn't, it's not even got frayed corners and it's a Kodansha. It's a matte Kodansha and the corners aren't frayed. That's crazy. I buy volumes brand new from Forbidden Planet or Amazon and they're more afraid than this. Wow. Next we have, and I'm really, really excited for this one, is Witch and the Beast Volume 2. I've been struggling to find this one. My Forbidden Planet didn't have it in stock and Amazon had it for like retail price and I'm like, no, 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 no. But I paid for like, how much did I spend on this one? It's like five pounds, I think. So it definitely looks red. It looks, it's definitely like, it's falling open without me doing anything and it's a bit bent on this corner but i'm fine with that i don't care there's also no cadentia uh, there's no wow wow oh my goodness and now i can pick up more from bin planet because they were only missing volume two in hindsight i should have probably done the bigger volumes first so it's not top heavy but too late for that next we have prison school volume nine i don't have nine i oh, know i don't have nine Sometimes it gets a bit confusing because Prison School was originally printed in singles and these are the omnibuses. I don't even know, I don't know if the singles got printed in English. No idea. But when you look up volumes, sometimes the omnibus cover will have the alternate cover, which has a different number, if that makes sense. So this is volume nine of the omnibus, but it'll be volume um, 18, 19. In the singles so sometimes it might have the 18 or 19 cover on especially secondhand websites which just makes it super confusing i originally started picking up prison bus prison bus prison bus prison bus prison bus prison school because of the bright colorful spines and then reading volume one it was like my level of humor which is degenerate level humor and yeah i <laughs> I open the page randomly and there is just bare boob. Next we have Love and Lies Volume 2. So I can read a couple of volumes from the series. I'm just... This one I knew was coming, but not that one. I'm still surprised how big they are. Was that a bare boob too? How about I'm just seeing lots of boob today? Oh, the cadenture. And it's flaked on this one. Oh dear. We were doing so well. We're almost done with this parcel, almost. Uh, next we have a great Im, Im Great Priest Imhotep, volume nine. Um, so yeah, I only have volume nine now. This is, I've jumped very far into the series, but I have been wanting to pick this series up for like over a year now. So this was, it was insanely cheap. It was like, three pounds. It was one of those where it was a penny and then you paid two pounds eighty postage and I was like yes please. And I'm fairly set I want to read the series. I've had a bit of a look online to see what it's about and it's absolutely something I'd enjoy. There is one more volume in this box. One more volume and it's not exciting and it is Satoshi Khan's Opus. And I think that's just one volume. Yeah that's just one. This was one of the more ex oh, that's heavy. It's one of the more expensive volumes, but I think it was by expensive I mean it was like six pounds. <laughs> what does it say for retail? Oh, it says it's twenty dollars, but that's not helpful to me in my currency. It's like sixteen, seventeen pounds. I don't know what the exchange rate is like at the moment. I've heard a lot of people praise this and say good things about it. Um and especially seeing it for that cheap, it felt like a sort of manga that you... Like a classic sort of manga to have in your collection. Other ones seem to be like Akira, which is something I'd like to try and pick up this year. A lot of Junji Ito, which I'm not interested in because I don't like horror. Um, and what else is there? I'm trying to think. Ghost in the Shell, that sort of thing, which I do have some Ghost in the Shell, but I need to get on getting the rest. But this felt like it was another one of those sort of series. It's Dark Horse, and I don't have too many Dark Horse in my collection, actually. We are one box down. Where did that fall? On to the second 
box, which <laughs> I don't understand. The box feels really sturdy, but there's like almost no tape on it at all. Oh my god. Fighting back much? Oh, Lots of packing. Oh wow. It's I'm not such a mess to tidy up after this. Oh wow. Oh my goodness. So much packing. But let's start pulling them out otherwise so I can get to the rest. Okay, we've got a big stack here. Ooh. So we have we have Queen's Quality, volume four. I think I only have volume one <laughs> at the moment. So I can't get particularly far in. I can't find it. Yeah, I only have volume one. But I have volume four now. And oh, there's two here from the same series, so I'll pull those out. We have Blue Exorcist Volume 24 and Blue Exorcist Volume 25. 25 is thick! Wow, that is so nicely thick. Also. I've been buying a lot of Blue Exorcist secondhand or bit in Travelling Man every now and again. Prominent one at the moment I'm missing is Volume 7 because um, I've not seen it in store and I've only been able to find it online for retail price. And it's like, mm, no. <laughs> too much for me. Yeah. Blue Exorcist 24 and 25. Then we have Absolute Duo Volume 4. I think this might be the last volume. Yeah, this is the last volume. I've had one to three for quite a long time now. Bought all second hand. And I hadn't realised there were only four volumes so I just kind of felt like, yeah, I should just grab it now, especially since it was at a decent price. Next we have Accomplishments of a, the Duke's Daughter, Volume 7. I have one to three in this one. This was one of the first isekai that I read that kind of showed to me that there was isekai that didn't necessarily have to be filled with action. To be fair, this one is borderline not too romancy either, or at least from the first three volumes it is, and it might get romancy the further in I go. But I enjoy this one a lot. It is a another villainess isekai, but it's not quite the same as the other villainess isekais because there wasn't really any romance in it. A lot of like a lot of politics and things like that, and <laughs> I quite love it. Last one here is My Hero Academia Vigilantes Volume 7. I have one to six and ten, and I'm hoping there's a couple more in here that might fill my gap in this. I want to read more of this, especially since it's starting to, it started to tie in with the main story and I want that backstory. I really want that backstory. Oh, there's... Oh my gosh. Come on. Oh. So we have volume 14 of Horimiya? 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 <laughs> volume 14 of Horimiya. It has been harder to find, especially since the anime came out. It got really popular and just harder to find. So finding a couple of volumes of this cheap was really nice. Is there another volume? That was, yeah, here it is. Harumiya also have volume 13. I quite like its rainbow. <laughs> Ooh, we also have My Hero Academia Vigilantes 8 and 9. So yeah, that has filled in my gap. I think 11 might be out now in the UK potentially 12? You know what? I don't know. But I'm fairly more caught up than I was, is the important thing. <laughs> Next we have De Grey Man Volume 13. This, alongside Blue Exorcist, is one I've been buying pretty much all secondhand. I have quite a few more gaps in this one. I'm missing like a good five or six in the late teens, I think. And one or two in the early teens. I'm missing like 13 and 14. Well, not 13 anymore. It's right here in my hand. What am I talking about? Next we have Inspector Volume 13. Uh, my partner's actually been reading this series, so this was kind of bought for him. Not, although I do also want to read the series, but I've only read Volume 1 and he's like up to Volume 3 or 4. Next we have The Water Dragon's Bride Volume 6. Uh, I can't remember what other series this artist has drawn, but I'm like 90% positive I do have series drawn by the same artist. I just can't remember. Oh, Dawn of the Arcana, which means they also draw King's Beast. So I have King's Beast, but I don't have Dawn of the Arcana. High School Prodigies have it easy even in Another World Volume 7. It's plastic wrapped, which bemuses me because 
the first few weren't plastic wrapped and then the later ones are and now reprints are. I never thought it was that lewd in comparison to some of my other series at least, but who am I to tell you and press what's lewd and not? Yeah, this has been a really jolly East Kai. I've only read the first two volumes and then I've got a couple of gaps. I have like four and seven now. So I need to try and pick up the rest when I'm next probably in Forbidden Planet. We got some big ones now. We have Ran and the Grey World Volume 4. This was quite sweet, if not a bit strange. The art style is beautiful. It's so different. It's vibrant. I love it. This one's great. If the story was a bit weird in volume one though. Then I think we have, yes, we have two volumes of Kakigori Twin, volumes eight and nine. Kakigori's been really hard to find uh, in general since the beginning of lockdown. And Kakigori Twin has been, was hard-ish to find even before that. And now I just can't find it at all. I have very random volumes of this series now. I really like Kakigori and I'm up to date with Kakigori, so I would like to try and read this one when I can find the volumes, that is. Next we have Witch and the Beast Volume 5. As I have 1, 2 and 5 now, I need to pick up 3 and 4. That's such a pretty cover, isn't that just such a, a nice cover? It's so purple and it's cover nice and purple on the back. Oh, like my nails which are all purple. Oh, wasn't on purpose. Final volume in here is Wave Listen To Me Volume 5. This was actually quite a heavy read. There's a lot of text in a volume. I mean, if you look at that, there's just, there's, there's a lot of text. It was enjoyable to read. My understanding is it takes a couple of volumes to really get into it, maybe even two or three. And I've been kind of waiting till I have, I'm up to date and then I can read a bunch in one go because apparently that, a lot of people have said that that's the best way to get into it. Uh, I need to pick up volume three, so I'll be able to do that. And then I think the rest of this box is just packaging, so away you go. This box concerns me. There's, it seems to be more packing tape than it does cardboard. Also, it's been continuously sinking the entire time it's been in the corner of the manga room. Uh, let's figure out to cut into this. Oh, it's done that thing again where they're packaged in like letter envelopes, letter envelopes. <laughs> I guess I'll take these out because then we'll have a bit of space. Right, first envelope I guess. What have we got in here? Oh, tight. Ooh, so we have Love of Kill Volume 4. I don't think I have Volume 1 in here but this is a series I've been trying to pick up as well for a while but I don't see Volume 1 anywhere and then I saw a few volumes were decent secondhand pricing and I was like you twisted my arm. You twisted my arm. Honestly, no idea what it's about at all in the slightest. And because it's volume four, I actually don't want to le read the blurb just in case I get some spoilers. Um, and I could actually see in here already that we also have volume two. It's actually a pretty decent quality. They're, they're a bit soft around the edges. So they've definitely been read, I think. I don't know. Has that been read? I don't, maybe not. Oh, it's sticky it's sticky Ew. okay well, what other volumes do we have in here that aren't sticky hopefully oh we have forget me not volume two i picked up forget me not volume one second hand as well and i was actually quite pleasantly surprised it wasn't quite what i was expecting i thought it was just going to be like a high school romance but it kind of was and kind of wasn't it was kind of following the guy reminiscing about all his previous romances and I'm kind of assuming it's going to continue though it has been a very long while since I read volume one so I might have to flick through volume one for some reminders. Next we have Yamada-kun and the Seven Witches volume three so two and three this is yeah just slightly red maybe I don't know. Maybe I'm not very good at judging if things are red or not. No, Caitlin, of course not. Of course not. You're the best. Okay, thank you, Caitlin. I can already see, looking in the envelope, you can see, like, some yellowed spines in there. <laughs> oh, cool. Okay. So first, 
uh, we have Seven Deadly Sins Volume 22. So I started picking up a whole lot of Seven Deadly Sins secondhand. Usually five pounds or less is about my uh, level of what I'll pay and I think I've more than doubled the volumes I have of this because I've been buying at such cheap prices and this is just another one. I have, yeah, I think I have like 26 volumes of the series, just not in order. Next we have Ultimo Volume 1. This is yellowed, but that's not too surprising considering it's been a while, I think, since they did a print run. First printing, February 2010. It smells like it was printed in 2010. We have next, oh, we have Yakutake Japan Volume 8. Oh, okay, I got 8, 9, and 10. I'm spoiled. <laughs> Last volume in this bag is Fire Force 18. I'm nearly up to date with Fire Force. I have a small, oh, you can just about see it. Boop, boop. I have kind of a small gap in Fire Force and I think it's 16 through 20. And then I have a clear run. And I've been buying a lot of these secondhand or waiting for Blackwells to discount them. Blackwells discounted some random volumes to like 4.99, I think. So I picked up a whole bunch that way. We have Twin Star Exist Volume 3! Like, I sound excited because I completely forgot what was ordered. Like a month ago at this right point. Uh, volume 3 was, I have a gap for Volume 3. I think I now have a clear run to like 16. It, yeah, no. I've been buying this almost entirely secondhand as well. So it's always nice when you see that volume that you need secondhand. It is just, oh, it's beautiful. So next volume in here is ooh, it's thick. I suppose it is an omnibus. It's sticky. It is Kitchen Princess Omnibus Volume Two. Uh, I think I got this for like six pounds, maybe. <laughs> I think so. Maybe that's why it's sticky. Actually, I think it was where there was a label. It looks like there was a price label there. Okay, I, I'll allow that. Um, I've seen quite a few people talk about this one or have this one, and and quite like it in terms of like shoujo. It's shoujo, right? I mean, it can't be, not be shoujo with eyes like those. Um, so I've seen a lot of people talk about it and for a long while I was pretty put off buying omnibuses. I don't really like omnibuses because I like to read manga in one hand and I like to be able to get manga into my bag and omnibuses, they're just too unwieldy for me. They hurt my hands because I can't hold them in one hand but I still damn well try. So there's a couple of books in there that aren't manga and they're actually a present for someone. So we'll just move that out of the way down there. That was a heavy thump. Onto the next envelope. I feel like the packaging is not too loud. I suppose I'll find out while I, when I edit. Next we have Terrified Teacher at Ghoul School Volume 1 and it's a library copy. That slightly surprises me because it's a fairly new series. Oh it's a bit battered. Oh it's got a big sticker in the front and it's got an, a bit pulled out at the back while they ripped something out. Sometimes they have like um tags in so you can't you know can't leave the library without it being scanned and it makes everything go beep 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 beep. But sometimes they rip them out and sometimes they leave them in, at which point I rip them out. Oh, there's a whole bunch of bent corners on this one. Unfold that. Is there another one? Yeah, there's another one. Oh, dear. Unfill that one. Uh, I got this for more than half of retail, so I don't mind too much, though some of the ones I got for cheaper in Better Nick. I'll probably just, I'll just rip the plastic sleeve off. Oh, did I just rip the manga? Shh. No one saw. It's fine. It's quite sturdy. That's not too bad. You can barely tell. There we go. Definitely a bit battered. It's creased quite badly. And not even by me. That wasn't all my fault. Wow, that's really bad. That might actually be one of the bot ba more battered volumes I've gotten today. Let's get this little sticker off the spine. So Oh, it's so sticky. I'll do that later. Next we have, oh, another library copy. We've got quite a few of these. This is from the same library. Oh, no, they've left, they've left the tag in. Dang, dang it. So this is, sorry, <laughs> Hero Tales Volume 3. Again, I think I have, I got Volume 1 earlier. I think I just have Volume 1 and 3 in this hole, so I need to pick up some of the other ones. 
it's yeah, I have no idea what it's about. Oh, they've kind of slightly ripped out the check out check out what's the word when you take out a book? Do you check it out? But it's not they've not taken all of it. You can still see your library name there. A few more, a few more. We have a terrified teacher at Ghoul School Volume 3. That is so yellow. That is such a badly yellowed volume. I thought this was a fairly new series. Why is it so yellowed? 2018. Oh my, June 2018, a three and a half year old series and it's already that yellowed. Wow, what was someone doing to it? My God. Well, I've heard a whole bunch of decent things about the series. I'm looking forward to reading it. None of the volumes seem to be in good nick so far, though. <laughs> oh, we have another volume from the series. Also really yellowed. I assume volume 5 and volume 3 came from the same place. Oh my gosh. Why is it so bad? <gasps> I've just noticed they're colourful. I'm sold. <laughs> we have one more volume in here. And, oh my gosh, I'm <laughs> really excited for this one because this is... <laughs> a new release or newish release at least for me uh, i've not seen volume six in of orient in stores yet but i saw it second hand and it was half price second hand <laughs> very confused but very happy when was this printed oh it just says 2021 there Next envelope we have Attack on Titan Before the Fall Volume 9. I have 1 to 7 and then 11 which I've also picked up second hand. Next volume is... Oof, big boy. Plunderer Volume 2. I actually picked up Plunderer Volume 1 like a week ago second hand. Um, but I didn't leave it to unbox for this video. I left it just for the, the big boxes. It was whereas that one came on its own. Um, I think I picked both of them up for like six pounds seven pounds i don't know how much this retails in pounds because it just says dollars 22 us dollars damn it uh, i see a lot of people more boobs <laughs> i see a lot of people say good things and enjoy it so just seeing it cheap decided to have a go i was a little put off by the spines as well for a while because i wasn't sure if i liked them or not but having had volume one on my shelf for a few days now it's definitely grown on me. <laughs> Next we have number six, volume three, which isn't too confusing. Uh, I've been starting to slowly pick this series up. I have one and two, and I think I actually picked up another couple of volumes, but they're not right yet. Uh, I don't know much about it, except it seems very aesthetic. I really like the art style and the spines, and that actually seems it's a bit yellowed. It's only yellowed on the top. That makes me sad when it's only yellowed on the bottom. It's so nice on the bottom. I'd rather it was consistent. This envelope is entirely um, birthday present books, so they're gonna go on the floor with the other ones. And I'll check those later, just in case they see this. Spoilers. Last envelope then, I suppose. Hopefully there's stuff in here that I could show. We have, yay! Yam Yamada Kun and the Seven Witches Volume 1. So I can actually start reading this series. I have one, two, three. That was a bit of a sticker on the back. Just take that off. Take that off. Come on. No, come on. There we go. Um again, I don't I think this is like a slice of life witchy series, if I've understood it correctly. Could be wrong, but that's what I've taken away. And I have a few of those, like Flying Witch and Witchcraft Works. Um Assuming it's probably going to veer a bit closer to like witchcraft works if it is like actually witchy. Next we have our Kitchen Princess Omnibus Volume 1. So, yeah, so I can actually start reading this one as well. Uh, goodness, it smells funny. This looks so, so shoujo y. The eyes. Oh my gosh, those eyes. The eyes and the hairstyle. Did I see recipes? Oh my gosh, there's recipes. I love when I get recipes. That's exciting. Wow. Well, I'll have to make sure I read this having eaten then, I suppose. Why am I surprised? It's got kitchen in the title. 
Last volume in the envelopes and this box is High School Girl Volume 8. So I picked up Volume 1 last month in January and since I started picking it up it was like well that's a fair game isn't it especially going for such a high random number I say that so that's not stopped me before so far this one looks a little red or at least it looks a little warped I don't know I tend to hope warping gets fixed by just sitting on my shelves for a while if I like put them on a shelf that's a bit tighter than usual so it can just like hold straight steady it's just a little little wobbly we are on our last box. Can you believe it? I can't believe it. Goodness me. Um, so this one I think was from Forbidden Planet mail order. So let's oh, calm down. Let's see if I can remember what I ordered because at the moment, no, I can't. I think I'm honestly just interested to see how they've packed it because this is such a big box and I don't remember ordering like an insane amount of oh, there's just a lot of bubble wrap. Okay, there's lots of bubble wrap. Oh my gosh, this is Ooh, ooh, I'm so excited. Oh, it's wobbling so much. Okay, I've cut it up a bit so it's easier to get to. So let's see what we got. We have Queen's Quality Volume 12 and 8 and 6. Is that what? I'm just going to break something. Queen's Quality Volumes 8, 6, 8 and 12. These were all reduced to £2.50 I think. I think they're all brand new. They feel brand new. They're shiny. Goodness, wow. So I have been wanting to pick up more of this series. I've only had volume one for quite a while. And now volume, I can't remember what the other volume number was. It's somewhere in there. Volume four, three, I don't know. Don't fall. What else have we got? We have volume, is it just, oh, I think it might just be on. Volume seven of Inspector. And this was reduced to four pounds. Right, next we have, how Not to Summon a Demon Lord Volume 12 for £4. I kept putting off buying more of the series. I think I have one to three. Um, but another goal of mine is this year is to try and catch up on some of the isekais, the older isekais that I have. So like Reincarnated as a Sword, Overlord, this one. Just try and catch up a bit because I love isekai. I've been prioritising picking up the new ones and I want to try and catch up with some of the ones I already have really. Oh, these ones are already jumping out. We have volumes 3 and 21 of Triage X, plastic wrapped, both £4. I think Triage X might be getting a reprint, I'm unsure. It's been very hard to find for quite a while, so I jumped on getting these two because <laughs> um, it's degenerate manga. <laughs> okay, maybe I picked up more than I thought I did. Oh, we got another volume of Inspector, volume 11. Oh, that's really exciting for four pounds. Goodness, I have more than I thought I did. And we also have So Cute It Hurts, volume seven for two pounds 50. I have, again, some real random volumes of this series. I've been buying, um, what's the word? Second hand, how did I forget that? How did I forget that? Uh, yes, I have like three, five, seven. <laughs> Uh, I will try and get the rest, but I quite like finding them cheap. It does seem to be a series that just pops up really cheap every now and again. Last one in the middle is Orisama Teacher Volume 22, also £2.50. Uh, I have all... I've... I've been picking up Orisama Teacher secondhand entirely, and yeah it's quite a long series i think it's like 27 28 volumes maybe even, potentially even more than that i'm not too sure um so uh, i'm not like wanting to pay anywhere close to retail when i pick these up is my goal at the moment Ooh, we have 11 12 and 13 of the heroic legend of arslan and i bought these all for four pounds each isn't that nice 
it's very nice. Okay, that's what you say. Very nice. Nice, colourful spines. These are teetering. Stop teetering. There we go. That was a bit better. It's, it's fine. It's fine. There's not much on the stack back there. Uh, I'll sort it later. Uh, what else do we have on here? What is this one? It is The Other Side of Secret, Volume 2. Very excited because I have one and three of this. So, Volume 2, yes, we're filling one of those manga gaps. <sighs> Beautiful. Next, we have Volumes 5 and 6 of Val Love. Very thick, very thick. Plastic wrapped. Uh, I picked up volume two second hand, um, so I've now committed myself to- I can't believe how thick that is! That's crazy! Wow! What was I saying? I started buying these uh, second hand, so I think there's not actually too many of the series out, maybe like 10 or 11 volumes, so it shouldn't be too hard to catch up. And I know that My Forbidden Planet does actually stock these. Next we have volumes three and five of Gal Goen. Gal Goen? Go in, go in, go in. I only have lane one of this and I did quite enjoy I did kind of enjoy it. I'm a bit unsure because it's not a it's an age gap romance between a student and teacher, which is heavily taboo and it's a bit weird, but the food is great. I love watching them make the food. And now I'm hungry. <laughs> This next volume was actually one of the ones I was really excited for, and that is Frank and Fran volume, well, it's Omnibus volume 4, but 7, 8. This, I'm fairly sure, is out of print and very hard to find, and I actually had uh, quite a few people recommend the series to me, um, so I was a bit sad when I tried looking it up and it was like, no, you can't find it. January 2017, why is it so hard to find if it was printed that recently? Um, this is the last volume. There's only four omnibuses. I can at least see how it ends. I'm actually not too bothered if I can't pick up the rest. I think a part of me is just really excited to have it on my shelves because I've been aware of it for quite a while now, but it just wasn't something I could pick up. But I've got it now. I've got one, at least. That's exciting. Next we have... Oh, did I... How many volumes of this did I pick up? Did I pick up four? I pick up four volumes. Four volumes of Tales of Wedding Rings. So we have volume two, volume three, volume four, and volume five. So I had... I bought volume one brand new, and then I bought seven and eight second hand. There are actually some of the more damaged manga in my collection. I think seven's got like a rip right down the back, or it's lost half the cover. Can't quite remember. Uh, this is an isekai. It is a harem isekai. It's a really weird harem isekai, because like the goal of the dude is to go around and seduce all these women, and he's like, all right then. It was very over the top and I found it really silly. I don't know why it's taken me so long to pick up my- actually, you know what, I do know. It's because I didn't want to pay a lot of money for this. And uh, these were all like five pounds each, I think. So, mission accomplished. I'm actually gonna put them down there because I'm actually quite fearful for that now. I don't think we have too much left. Nope, we don't. We have volumes five and eight of Kiss Me at the Stroke of Midnight. I've been quite enjoying the series. I think it's really sweet and cute. And I don't, if I like squint a little, I can ignore the age gap. And I also find the whole butts thing great because butts are great. I bought, I think six of the butts, five or six volumes second hand, but they're all later on. So I have, I think volume six, seven, nine, 10, 11. And just now I just need volume four and I can read a whole bunch of the series, which is very wonderful. I've not been able to find this series in My Forbidden Planet for months now, I think, which is really sad. I might have to start scouring like Amazon or something to find volume 4 just so I can at least read it. We have one volume left and it is a big one. It is a hardback and it is Emma volume 2. So I went, <laughs> I remember going manga shopping with a friend of mine who's called Emma and we went past this and she was like, well, you have to buy that one because that's my name. And here we go. I have done it. Are you happy, Emma? I'm going to send this video to you and you have to watch right to the end <laughs> to hear me say this and see me pick it up. I know you won't. <laughs> oh my gosh, $24.99. I paid five. 
I've been interested in picking this one up anyway, besides my friend pressuring me to buy it in her namestead. Um, but I was a bit unsure because I wasn't too big on hardbacks for a while, as well as omnibuses. I'm very picky when it comes to manga. I'm less picky now. I don't really care, as long as I can read it. Let's see what it's like. What's, what's it like without the cover on? Oh my gosh, well that's not okay. That just like looks like a real book. Why? Why do I want my manga looking like a real book? Carol Mori. Does that ring a bell? Let's put this cover back on then. Oh, it's got an it's got an inside cover as well. Can you like flip it around? Put it in reverse. That's interesting. Don't think I want to. I'm unsure. I am actually no. It's the the real book vibes are growing on me, but it won't look great on my shelves, and I won't like that. Well, I sure hope you enjoyed that. I certainly did. I can't wait to spend the rest of my evening putting these volumes in my spreadsheet and putting them on my shelves. Honestly, super hyped. <laughs> Let me know in the comments what you thought of the state of the volumes, of what I picked up at all, or any volumes here, you, ones that you want to pick up, any series that you've been wanting to try. Let me know down below. Also, like, the, the state of them. Honest, like some of the library copies are pretty bad, whereas some of them look completely brand new. It's so strange. I'm so confused. I don't understand. If you haven't already, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. It means a lot. And check out my social medias down below. Otherwise, I hope you have a wonderful day and I will see you next time. Bye!